Hey folks, welcome back to another video. And today I want to start a long-term experiment. Uh, and this will be actually my first bio biological experiment. Um, disclaimer, just a little one. I'm really bad in biology, it's not my field. I find it very interesting, but I have no clue about it. I don't really know much about how biology works. Well, my idea was I wanted to find out if it's actually possible to um, mutate uh, plant seeds or plants in general with gamma radiation. Like, I want to see if I can take something like a, a radium painted clock, which is quite radioactive. A lot of gamma radiation there and of course maybe you noticed from my previous videos my very strong radioactive Swiss Army compass. This is also radium painted so yeah you'll get a lot of gamma radiation from these two devices. So I went to like the hobby market shop I got some radish seeds, some thyme seeds and some blue, white, green, yellow flowers. Don't ask me how they're called. Like, there is a Latin name here if somebody's interested. Maybe you can see it. Does it focus? I guess so, yeah. Something like that. Well, the whole idea is I want to split up the seeds like 50-50. Uh, Mix both groups together. Then I will have one group that I will irradiate with gamma radiation from the clock and from the compass. And I'll have a second group that I will not irradiate, like just grow natural. And I want to see if there's a difference. I, I, I think it could be difficult, like I'm a little bit skeptical, maybe there will be no visible difference at all. But who knows, let's see, I think it's an interesting idea. Well, I split up the seeds now, like about 50-50. These are the flowers, this is the thyme, and this is the radish. Um, there is not a specific reason why I bought these plants. Well, I was thinking about the flower that maybe, you know, in, in the blossom, that you could see some mutations more easily than in the other plants. Thyme I just bought because I kind of like thyme. Maybe I can use the non-radioactive one, you know, for food and stuff later. And I wanted something like with a fruit or so also to maybe see a difference there. Maybe the, the relish gets bigger, the radioactive one or something like that. I don't know. Um, well, my idea is now I want to mix these two groups together. Like 50-50 mixes. Put them in some plastic bags. And I will sandwich one of the plastic bags between the two radiation sources. Like I'll just put it here in the middle and put it in a metal box. Also maybe put some lead around it for shielding. And I want to keep it there for minimum one month. Like to really irradiate the seeds. To try to like destroy some of the the DNA in the seeds. Maybe that will help us to get some mutated plants. I got my seeds mixed together. I made two groups, about the same size. This one will be irradiated, this one not. And I'll put it uh, yeah, in the sandwich thingy with the radium painted clocks. Put it into this thing, put some lead around it for protection. And I will store the non-irradiated seeds into a second metal box, just that they have like the same circumstances, temperature and stuff. I'll store them in the same room, but far apart from each other too. And I guess we'll come back in a month. Okay, uh, we're back after like about 35 days of plant seed irradiation with gamma rays. It's now mid-May, it's perfect springtime for plant planting, I guess. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Um, I've got the seeds here. I've got some pots ready here. I'll put the irradiated ones into the first two with the mark here. A control group over here. I have like some old GoPro copy camera that I never use. I'll just put it on a tripod here so I can take a picture every day and we see 
how the plants evolve, if they will at all. But before I start the planting, um, well, first of all, get the seeds out. And I want to do a quick measurement with the Geiger counter, just to see um, what kind of values of radiation we are talking about here. Okay, the radiated seeds are here, under the gamma ray compass, and the other one, the radium painted clock. Um, just to get an estimate of what we are talking about, I'll just put the Geiger counter into the box close to the, the radiation source, but not directly on top, just that we get an impression of uh, a value. I want to get some millisievert value just that you know what we are uh, dealing with here. This will take a minute or two just to get a value, so I'll do a little time lapse or something. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, I'll just move the camera quick. I think we're at 40 microsieverts per hour. So, let's see. Whoop. Hope you can see this. It's a bit dark here. 43 microsieverts per hour for like 35 days. I think this could have destroyed a little bit of DNA. So let's continue with the experiment. Take this here off. Uh, maybe just one word, little disclaimer here. Basically what we're doing here is like genetic modification and I'm not sure if it's such a smart idea. You know, it's plants will make seeds, they will make pollen, it will mix with other plants, maybe we'll like do something bad to nature. It's not really my topic, I don't know much about it. Just saying, it's maybe not the smartest idea. I was thinking about that, like as soon as the plants get any bigger and we see any results or we don't, I will burn the irradiated plants in the end. Uh, I'll keep the control group, but I think it makes sense to burn the other stuff just to really be safe that the whole genetic modified uh, DNA stuff is gone. Let's see. Um, I think I'll make another time lapse. This will be a little bit boring otherwise. Just uh, that you can watch me construct my little atomic garden on my porch. Have fun. plants are planted, um, gave it all a little bit of water and I guess now we have to wait a month or two uh, until we can do the conclusion of the video and the experiment. So see you in a month or two. Welcome back folks, I uh, hope you had a good summer. Uh, so it's three and a half months later now, it's end of August and I planted the seeds in mid-May. Yeah, I was in holidays for a while and I kind of forgot about the whole thing a little bit. And, but we have some conclusions, it's interesting. Just before I start with the conclusion, big, big disclaimer. Like just in general, don't take this video too seriously. It's really non-scientific. It's probably, the, in a scientific sense, the worst experiment that I did so far. But I still find it amusing. I hope you do too. Um, yeah, the point is I really have no clue about biology, it's really not my field. I'm quite okay in my particle physics and in the astronomy stuff, but just don't lynch me for that. But I want to show you what happened anyway in the last three and a half months, so 
I'll grab the camera and I show you how our radiated uh, plants look like. So let's give it a close look. It's kind of obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Even though, I mean, the setup was really, really bad, it was really non scientific. If you do an experiment like that, well, first of all, ask somebody that actually has a clue about the field like a biologist or maybe even somebody that studies biology that has a professor that could help out yeah it, 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 this is a little bit of a filler video again don't take it too seriously but it's still it was fun and uh, apparently the, 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 there was something happening here I mean take a look the, the radish is growing really really well actually from the beginning the flowers we had, like, where were they here? These here? They just never grew. The, I don't know. Yeah, maybe just not very strong in an evolutionary sense. This one here is, like, really big, actually. It's also radish. <laughs> These two pots, the control group, they this one basically just died. And here there's still something going on, but it's also not that much. So, yeah, interesting. As I said, like the flowers, they just died completely from the beginning. The thyme had a hard time, but it is growing, at least the radiated thyme. The non-radiated one is also dead, apparently. Here there's really nothing happening anymore. I think this pot got too much like rainwater, because like the roof wasn't exactly over the pots and everything. I actually swept the pots once or twice during the last three and a half months to like equalize out uh, those influences a little bit but still yeah I don't know I hope you liked the video anyway and um, I'll show you the time-lapse that I made with the GoPro copy camera it's like about I'm not sure I think it's 65 days or so, so it's a little bit more than two months also I had to like weed out a lot of the radish because it, I just put too much seeds so there was much too much radish so just to give the thyme uh, a chance to grow you'll see that in the time lapse it will like suddenly just you know be much less plants and then they grow again you don't see the difference so good in the time lapse but I had the impression that the irradiated seeds did grow a little bit faster and a little bit bigger even during the growing process um yeah i think that's it i'll just blend in the time lapse to end the video uh i hope you enjoyed this i am promising there is more and like more professional sciencey stuff coming up soon um i'm trying to work on some astronomy videos i'm also working on the um, spectroscopy series so there should be something coming out soon uh, I really much appreciate you watching, if you liked it, maybe give it, give it a like. If you didn't subscribe yet, also think about that, I would appreciate a lot. And see you soon for another crazy, maybe a little bit stupid experiment soon. Have a good day. Bye.